You are the Burnley fan though, Luke. Uh, what do you think about Owen, Owen Kyle's departure? Yeah, I'm gutted he's gone, but yeah, if more money at Bolton. It's his decision. It's done good for Burnley. Just hopefully they get a good manager now. It's bad timing though, isn't it? Halfway through the season. Yeah, especially when they're on a slump as well, but there's nothing you can really do about it. No, I suppose that's football, isn't it, these days? But um, who would you like to see as his replacement then? Um, Alex Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm at, I don't know. I don't even know who's in the line. Man United's assistant manager. He'd, he'd, be, he'd be good because he's got a lot of knowledge from Ferguson. And he lives he lives in the area, Mike Phelan, doesn't he? He's from, from yeah. Burnley. So so that he'd be good, but I don't think he's, he'll have to take a pay cut to probably come to Burnley. Yeah. Um, and did you manage to follow Burnley's fortunes this season from America? Yeah, yeah. I watched the, I get watch the games on the internet and stuff. So yeah, yeah. And what do the uh, your American friends think about it? Well, a lot of the guys from the college are from England anyway. So right. Yeah. And what about you, Brian? Have you heard of the Clarets over there? Well, only through him, but yeah. <laughs> that's about it. And is this your first time in Burnley? No, it's about my fourth. Right. Okay, well, thanks Thanks for te- speaking yeah. to us anyway. You liven the, you liven the town up, you liven the club up, but it's going down to a club that's below them. And uh, what it is, it just, it just like the, to me, it's just like the, the town, and it's like the club down, it's like the supporters down. I mean, the kids with the cut shirts on and all that, he just, he just look dirty on it. And the Owen Coyle Mass, of course, that sold sold out in the thousands, didn't they? Uh, they all have to be bid now. There was uh, a photograph in the, in the thing, in the office there. The club shop? Yeah. I think every, it's taken everybody by surprise. I think the worst thing is that the way it's been done and the way that he's practised and preached uh, values and things like that and he's let so many people down. I think people could understand it if he gave it, if he gave us a reasonable explanation. And it's the fact that he's gone to a local rival and a relegation rival as well. And that's it. And no, there's just there's just no sense to it, and and everybody just struggling with it. Do you think fans would have had more respect for him if he'd have waited until the end of the season at least? Because he's not given his replacement much time now, has he, to to get some new players in in the January window? Yeah, I mean, everybody feels just totally devastated by it. He's left us in a hole at a crucial part of the season. And who would you like to see replace him? Personally, Alan Kerbishley at this moment in time. Uh, so, it's, uh, here with Lee, a season ticket holder, what do you think about Kyle's departure? Uh, a bit disappointed, but... I wish him all the best. He's, he's put this, this club and the town back on the map. The football. And um, what about the timing of it, though? That's a bit unfortunate. A bit harsh. Maybe he could have uh, waited till the end of the season, finished uh, the job he started. You know, he's, uh, he's took a championship side up to the Premiership on a low budget, small squad. Um, so you're thank- thankful for the job he's, he's done in, in getting the club of there? Course, yeah, he's, he's done magnificent things. And who would you like to see as his replacement? Uh, I don't know actually how things go, but uh, there's a lot of mention about Cockle, mm. so I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Whoever it is, they've come uh, to a great, great ground, a great, you know, great, great club. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Leif. Speaking to you.